There is a verdict and sentence in the Alex Murdoch murder trial, but the case is likely far from over. As M. Wynn explains why the once prominent attorney sits behind bars tonight, his attorneys are already working on an appeal. It's our top story tonight at 10. Once prominent and former attorney Alec Murdoch sentenced to two consecutive life terms without parole for the murder of his wife Maggie and youngest son Paul. Murdoch now being processed into South Carolina's Department of Corrections, set to undergo tests and evaluations for about 45 days before he'll be sent to a maximum security prison. I'm innocent. I would never hurt my wife Maggie and I would never hurt my son, Paul Paul. Today, Murdoch's lawyers again calling the prosecution's alleged motive illogical, that he would kill his wife and son to buy time and gain sympathy just as his law firm was on the verge of uncovering his alleged financial crimes. There really was no evidence linking one to the other. They had cast Alec as a despicable human being. We feel um, like that is a very solid ground for an appeal. The jury took less than three hours to come to a verdict. Juror Craig Moyer telling ABC News they took a vote as soon as deliberations started. Two not guilty, one not sure, and nine guilty. Moyer saying it took about 45 minutes for everyone to get on the same page. Now, Murdoch faces nearly 100 other charges for his alleged financial crimes. Attorney Justin Bamberg, representing several of Murdoch's alleged financial victims, telling us... The goal is not just to put Alec in prison for life. The goal is to bring justice to the victims of his crimes. Murdoch's lawyers say they will file a notice of intention to appeal the guilty verdict within the next 10 days. M. Wynn, ABC News, Walterboro.